Welcome back to another video, guys. It's your man, Jay. In this video, we're just going to be talking about uh, customiza customizations on Android, and specifically the Galaxy Note 10 Plus or the Galaxy Note 10. These are beautiful devices, folks. This full screen is impressive, to say the least. So you have a lot of canvas here. So this is how the phone comes out of the box stock. This is what it looks like, the, the, the font, the icons, everything. This is what you get. So... Um, People often ask me the font that I'm using, uh, what theme is that, you know, what icon pack is that. So I put it back this way and we're just going to customize the Galaxy Note 10 to my liking. So you can do whatever you want to do on your Samsung device. And it's just doesn't apply to Samsung devices. This applies to LG dev devices that have skins. You know, you can pretty much bet that they have a theme store, Huawei. But Samsung has one of the best theme stores, but a lot of their stuff costs. So if you want to do the quick way to get to the theme store, you just long press and hit theme. And this is their theme store. This is their theme store. It is a ton of themes in here for you to choose from. I mean, free. You can just go ahead and go to top if you just want to see what everybody else is buying. Now, personally, this is the top, one of the top themes right now. I don't like this theme. I, I think it's, I don't like it. It's too much going. I like that background. Uh, but, I don't think I really like these icons, you know, with the American flag around them. I, I'm not really feeling that keyboard is, is nice. Uh, but overall, that's not really my style. And the, and the great part is a style. You can do what you want to do. So you don't have to choose a paid theme. So you have feature themes. You have top themes. There are free themes like these right here. There's animated themes for the note because the note can play video wallpapers. And this isn't something that's new. Uh, lots of phones can do video wallpapers, but the note can do it. This note can do it. So if you swipe, if you pull all the way down after you get in here, you'll see the things that you have. Some of these are purchased. Some of, some of them I've had for a long time. We're on the default theme, as you can see. So if I want to change the theme, let's just say I want to change it to this. Um, you know what? Let's go one that I purchased. I purchased this Popeye theme a long time ago. I mean, years ago. Back when I had the Galaxy J70, that's when I, a Galaxy J7, that is when I purchased this one. But it's, I own it, so I can apply it to any Samsung phone. The theme will apply, as I try to sneak a sip of coffee. <laughs> the theme will apply, and then the whole phone will change. Background, icons, everything. Your folders, everything just changes over to that specific theme. Well, let's just say I want to rock this theme with a different a different set of icons. You go back in the theme, and there's tabs along the bottom here that says wallpaper, icons, and always on displays. So currently, these are the always on displays that I that I bought here. But let's go to icons. Here is a full suite of icons. I mean, there's this way too many to choose from so i'm going to download um as you can see there's there's top free icons and this is what these look like these kind of look like the pixel icons so i'm going to download these icons right here i'm going to apply it this is what's getting ready to apply and this is how mine is going to look you see they all changed over now now i have little circles you can do whatever you want to do man let's go back into themes this is just a quick way to get to these. You don't have to go that way. You can actually go into settings and then go to icons separately, but this is a fast way to get in. Now, there's um, some that are paid here. I've purchased icons with packs before, uh, but I try to try to just keep free ones on, on hand as much as I can. You've got the Disney. You've got Disney right here. You know, you get a little preview of what it's going to look like. That's a little too busy for me, so I, I don't think I could download that. Um, you've got like this little square setup here, kind of close to what I got now, but it's just a square setup. That might even be the same, uh, poster. Let's go something a little different. Let's just go buck wild with it. This is completely different. I don't know that I would even, um, use those with the current theme, but I can do what I want to do on my device and I can apply this and make my phone look any way I want. This is a great part about owning this phone. And again, this isn't the only phone, but now that I have them on here, I think I actually like this icon pack. It's pretty much just a dark background squared off with your original icon in the center, except for the stock icon. See, the stock icons have their own little special icon. So that's how you change the icons. 
So let's go back here to themes. Let's go over here to always on display. So currently I have the, this is my favorite always on display uh, right here, but you know, you can get different ones here. So there, there's a ton of them in here. These cost generally about 89 cents, but always check top free first. Don't be afraid to get something for free. Like this one right here. This is cool. Let's download it. Let's just get it. It's free. Why not? So let's apply it. Clock in image or image only. Let's do clock in image. So now, when always in this, when always on display comes on, uh, I might have mine. Oh wait, I'm, I think I might have mine turned off. I might have. My apologies. But that is what the always on display is going to look like when it kicks in. Here's another one by that same person. <laughs> this guy's this guy got some crazy stuff going on. Oh man, yeah, I think I probably have my always on display turned off. Uh, I don't know why I turned it off, but I might have it turned off. Uh, but let's get in here. This this is just an example of the always on display. So that is how you can change that. Now wallpapers is another thing. You've got different wallpapers at the top up here. You've got video wallpapers. Uh, let's change the wallpaper to a video wallpaper. This is one that's stock. So it's been changed. That's the outside right here. You see how that goes? Very nice. That is a beautiful, beautiful wallpaper. So when you're changing the wallpaper, it'll, you, most of the video wallpapers are for the outside screen. I should, I should point that out, but here's all of the wallpapers that I pretty much have on here now. See, you got dynamic lock screen, but it'll change the lock screen randomly. So that's changing the wallpapers. So let's get back in here. Uh, and let's, let's change the theme again. We're going to go full swing and I'm going to put the theme, um, I'm going to put the theme to the stock theme. I'm going to set this back up to the way I actually use this phone. This is how I actually use the phone. Um, but first I want to go into font. Now font is here. I've downloaded some extra fonts and in this screen, you can see all the different kinds of fonts, the name of them, and it also shows you what they look like. Now, people always ask me, what font is that? And there's some people that hate my font but for some reason. I don't know why, uh, but Morris Freestyle is my favorite font. So when you click on it, boom, it's going to, it's going to show it to you. You can also raise it up, make the size a little bigger. That is, it's set already. It's quick. It's done. It's done. So that's customizing the font. That is how I actually leave my font. So now all my icons have that font. There you go. Now let's change my wallpaper. Let me make sure I'm not just showing off anything here. I'm going to go back to my wallpaper. I hit set as wallpaper. And this is what you see me posting pretty much on social media. You see me posting this. Here's my OnePlus set up the same way, just about. You see what I'm saying? Now, as far as font goes, I've generally just been running this font. The stock font is actually pretty sweet. But I do have other fonts in here. Uh, excuse me, icons. I'm sorry, icons. The only other icon that I was was running outside of that one was, was this one right here. This one, this black. Now, I just liked it for some reason. So I, I got it a long time ago. I think it cost a dollar and something when I first got it, like, I don't know, something like that. Uh, but now I own it. So this icon pack is in here. So this is what this, this is what this looks like. See? So again, you can change this device any way you want. Now that I have a different wallpaper on there. I got my favorite wallpaper on there. I can put this, this new font, the, uh, uh um, icon pack that I just put on there. See? There's no wrong way to customize your device, folks. You just keep that in mind. Uh, but that's how you do it, man. That is how you can, you can go in here and you can, you can have a blast staying interested in your device. Cases, fonts, customizations. That is probably one of the highest points of Android that Android users might say is an advantage for them. A lot of people don't think that's an advantage. Um, but it is kind of. Because if you get bored with any other platforms, some of them you can't do this. And that's kind of sad, but you can't. Um, you can also change the keyboard. Um, you can rock whatever keyboard you want. So if I go in here, 
because I'm running the uh, Gboard right now. This is the Gboard. Uh, but if I type in keyboard, there's tons of different keyboards that come up that I can use. And just in the phone, in the phone alone, the Samsung keyboard, uh, let's go down to keyboards, keyboards, keyboards. You see input. Do you guys see it? Help me out here. Uh, da, da, da. language and input, language and input. And in the physical, the default keyboard right now is Gboard. I can change it to the Samsung keyboard. And one thing about that is when you're theming, when you're theming, um, the, um, think changing the themes, the keyboard in a lot of cases will change too, if you saw that. So that's something to, to take note of. You can also make this keyboard dark. You can customize this keyboard too. Um, let me see here. Go to settings and you can change the style and layout. You see, it's a light keyboard. Now I can change it to a dark keyboard, theme it out. You can do standard layout, one hand floating keyboard. There's just a whole bunch that you can do. You can do a high contrast keyboard. You can, you can do a, a, a ton with this keyboard. Uh, just all of that, man. So there's the high contrast keyboard. I wanted to show it to you. That's a, that's a lot, man. But look here, you can change it to what you want. So I can do black. I can do like this. I can do like this. There's just a ton that you could possibly do. Really nice. So customizing the Galaxy um, Note 10 Plus is fun, man. It could be really easy. Uh, and I mean, it's easy and it could be really fun. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. A lot of you guys asked for this video, like how do we, how do, what do you have it set up and things like that. Well, here it is. This is my setup and this is how I set it up uh, for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. A little lengthy, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully someone got some help from this video. You know, what you guys request, I don't mind putting up videos. Take care.